Happy Thursday, everyone. Well, today, uh, probably a lot like yesterday, especially for the Rogue Valley. We do once again have showers, but those showers once again avoiding the Jackson County area. Now, an interesting aspect to all of this, we do have some showers approaching a little further from the east. We got just kind of a uh, shortwave system breaking off of one low that's a little further to the east of us. That could bring some rain and snow to areas of Lake County and eastern Klamath County. So we'll keep an eye on that, and I'll show you it in my pinpoint forecast in just a second. But as you can see, overall, it is a drier start to the day today. We had some showers about this time 24 hours ago, mainly in Northern California, where most of the measurable rainfall was. That's due to a low pressure system off of the coast right there. You can see it's still drifting off of the coast, so from time to time, we'll have a chance of showers mainly this morning. But for the most part, outside of some cloud cover, it's going to be a drier, sunnier, slightly warmer day today. You can see the center of that low breaking off just a bit as it heads a little further to the west, kind of taking a different path overall when it comes to low pressure for our area. Nothing too unusual, but it does break apart just a bit, giving us these clearer, drier conditions for the course of the day today. There's a whole nother system on the way, though, as we head towards Friday. This one a little bit stronger, as you can see, and that'll continue to move further and further to the east. This one weakens quite a bit, and this one does weaken itself as we go into the weekend, and that should bring us a potential for some showers a little bit better than what we saw yesterday, just not much overall. So overall, just putting a bow on my forecast as we start the whole thing. Yeah, we do have a chance of showers, but we have as good of a chance of sunshine and dry conditions really on again, off again showers. So watch on the right side of your screen. See, there's the potential for showers out there that will move through the course of the morning, bringing some slight chances, mainly over the higher elevations as we get into the early afternoon today for areas of Klamath and Lake County, staying mostly dry for areas of Jackson County. And then we go into Friday. There's that next system and it moves through really quick. Most of the rain will be in Northern California, snow for the mountains, and then more heavier rainfall at the higher elevations of the coast, breaking apart fairly quickly by the afternoon and evening on Friday. And then we go into Saturday, still some potential in the morning. A lot colder though, it is a cold front that comes through. So over the mountains, you do see the potential for more snow out there where the last system that came through yesterday is a little on the warmer side. So in terms of rainfall, you're going to see it first, well, to the east and then to the west as we kind of get sandwiched between two systems. So a little bit of potential further to the east, as you can see here. But overall, that's just some trace amounts. Let's keep on going as we head Thursday night into Friday and then Friday very quickly moving through by about 2, 4 or 5 p.m. You have the potential for some more rain. The blue color mainly out on the coast, meaning more than a half of an inch. Once you get up into the higher elevations of Curry County, for example, maybe an inch to an inch and a half as we go throughout the day. Checking out the coast, partly cloudy with a slight chance of showers late tonight. Temperatures a little cooler than yesterday, mid 50s. In the West Valley, it's mostly cloudy, then eventually mostly sunny. 63 for Medford, 57 for Wairika, partly cloudy tonight, so it should be a fairly nice sunset. And east of the Cascades, cloudy with a chance of rain and snow that's mainly to the east in areas like Paisley and Lakeview. And even that chance isn't all that great. We'll call it a slight chance. Your seven-day forecast, it looks like a lot, but overall it's more dry than it is showery, especially as you go throughout the day today. Good part of Friday is dry, and then later Friday into Saturday, showers. Saturday into Sunday, you have another chance of clearing things out. Even 65 degrees shouldn't be too bad on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, a couple of chances, and then more persistent showers Tuesday and Wednesday. Klamath Basin, that's the trend as well. Late Friday into Saturday, that chance of showers, then mostly dry later Saturday into Sunday. If it's cold enough at times, could see some snow mixing in from time to time at the higher elevations. Northern California, mainly showers, but Mount Shasta itself does have some potential for snow out there. And for the coast, you've got showers in the forecast this weekend, and then again towards Monday and Tuesday of next week.